guys. So we just got to Walmart and I know I haven't done a grocery haul or a Walmart shop with me in a hot minute, but I don't know. We did a huge, like we got a bunch of groceries recently. Well, like last week and I was just going to do a huge grocery haul. I wasn't going to film in the store. I was just going to do a huge grocery haul, but we shopped inside the store. Okay. So after taking all of the kids in the store and getting a ton of groceries and then coming home with it and unloading it, I was just like, I literally don't think I have it in me to set all these up and film and then us put everything away. I just kind of want to put everything away. So that's what we did. But now it's been like a hot minute since a grocery haul has been posted. So I apologize. I, I always regret it when I don't film the hauls. So Anyways, that's what we're going to do today. I did a grocery pickup order and I'm also going to go inside and like let you guys kind of shop around with me and then I'm going to run into a local grocery store and get our ground beef because I don't really know. I really don't have a reason for this. We've been getting it from Sam's Club and this grocery store has this like five for 20, five for 25 thing on different meats. And we're just going to get all ground beef and like throw some of it in the freezer. And their ground beef is better because it's a, it's like a local grocery store. So the ground beef is better. So we're going to do that anyways. So I'm going to have a haul for you guys whenever we get home. I have no children with me. It's Sunday. So Josh is at home with the children. And this is the first day that I've been able to wear a hoodie and I'm so excited. I'm just wearing a hoodie and leggings and I'm super cozy and I just love fall. I love fall for that reason. I want to buy some more hoodies. I told Josh I want to have a hoodie for like every day of the week. I could just live in them. But anyways, we're going to go in here. If you are new here, my name is Courtney. I'm a mom to three boys, ages six, three, and one. We do a lot of lifestyle vlogs on this channel as well as grocery hauls and shop with me. So if you're into that, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you forget and before you leave. And yeah, let's go ahead and go into Walmart. Look at these little reusable bags that they have. This one says leaves are falling, autumn is calling, and then they have some little Halloween ones as well. Those are super cute. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Of course, they have some not too well looking pumpkins out. So they got the pumpkins out already. Oh my goodness, what the heck? So they have all of the Halloween cereal right up front. I feel like they're not selling very much of this because this stuff has been sitting out for a minute and there's a ton of it. They have these little Bats and Jack pretzel treats. I can't speak for some reason. So they have the pretzels and then they also have the cheese ball treats. So you can get these for your kids to like take to school for a snack, or I'm sure some people will be giving these out on Halloween as well. I feel like I've shown so much of the fall stuff already. I know that I showed all of these little cookie kits already in a different video. So I'm trying to see if I can find some stuff that I have not shown already. I feel like all of this kind of stuff is always pretty much the same every year. Dipped pretzels, they have this fall Fetty party mix. I don't think I showed that last time. That looks pretty good. This actually looks pretty cool. It's gourmet Halloween bar. I've been looking at this cooler every single time I come in here. So they have this pumpkin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Don't judge me. Pumpkin. And then they have the pumpkin ravioli and then there was another one. Butternut squash ravioli. They sound interesting. I love ravioli but I don't know what pumpkin ravioli would taste like. So if you guys have tried this, definitely let me know how it is. I have been seeing these as well, but I don't think I'm going to try them. They're the impossible, like impossible barbecue pork, teriyaki chicken, chili mac. So I assume it's just vegetarian. So we've actually already tried these bouncers. I've only tried the chocolate ones. They're kind of dry in my opinion, but I haven't tried the cinnamon one or the Twinkie one yet. So let me know if you guys have tried these. Of course, they have all of the fall coffees on display. I've probably showed these to you guys multiple times already. You guys have probably been seeing them in your stores as well. They have the pumpkin spice cold brew. This section's always overwhelming to me. I wanna show everything right here to you guys, but there's so much. They have this Witch's Cauldron Brownie Kit. We watched Pocus Pocus 2 last night and I really liked it. I know some people said they were disappointed in it. I was not actually. What is this? Jack-o-lantern chocolate cookie mix or kit. I've shown some of these, but there's definitely new ones out since the last time that I showed these. I didn't see this ghost meringue kit so many different types of sprinkles these are so cute with the little pumpkin on top oh they all have different little things on top a skull headstone this one has hot chocolate on top that's adorable 
What is this? This is a little variety pack of fall coffee flavors. I guess you could give this as a gift. I assume that's what that's for. They also have these little cupcake decorating kits. They have all different ones, kind of like the same themes as the sprinkles. Pumpkin spice baking chips, and then also, yep, that's what I thought it was. Pumpkin spice marshmallows. What are these? I think these are just regular marshmallows, but they might be shaped like ghosts, I think so. Yeah, they're just shaped like ghosts. Okay, so this is the first time I've seen this. It's a limited edition Halloween Fruity Pebbles. I don't know what's different about it. I guess it's just purple and orange colors. That's what's different. They are already out of my new favorite creamer. I have some at home. This is where it would be. I'll show you whenever I get home which one it is, but I knew it was seasonal and it was, and they do not have it anymore and I'm really sad. Look at these little tasty cakes. It says they are chocolate juniors, yellow layer cakes with chocolate icing. I don't think I've seen that before. Tasty cakes, pumpkin spice mini donuts. I've been seeing the muffins, but I feel like it's just Halloween packaging. It's just chocolate chip muffins. Everyone said that they had a hard time finding these pumpkin delights. Let me know if it's still that way for you because my store has consistently been stocked with all of this stuff and I've kind of burnt myself out on those pumpkin delights honestly so I'm not gonna buy any today I have never noticed this packaging where it says it's the pantry pack let me know if you guys have seen this that's kind of convenient though I don't ever really keep candy in my cabinets or like in a pantry like that but it's convenient for you if you do again something else I've been seeing you guys I've been in Walmart so many times and I haven't been filming but they have the fall favorites, pumpkin spice and cinnamon spice oatmeal. I always see these acai bowls and I don't know if I'm saying that right. And I always pass by them and don't buy them. I'm afraid that they won't be good, but they look good and they sound good. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried these. What are these? It says they're pizza stuffed bio buns. I'm probably butchering that. We got margarita, pepperoni, and cheesy spinach. Pumpkin Delights ice cream. I did show this in one of my videos, but I've had a lot of you guys reach out to me and tell me they made an ice cream. And yes, my Walmart is fully stocked on it. I need your opinion. What do you guys think about the poppin' chicken changing their potato shapes to dinosaurs instead of the smiley faces? I'm here for the dinosaurs because I do have boys, but the smiley faces were like nostalgia, you know? Like, look, they don't even have any more. They're all dinosaurs. Okay, definitely never seen this. It's tortilla chips, but they're black bean and garlic flavored. That's interesting. I like black beans and I like garlic. We have Bob's Backstage Popcorn. It says that it's salty and sweet, crafted with a special seasoning blend like no other. They also have the Cinnadust, let's see, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Hot Chocolate as well as the Lucky Charms Hot Chocolate. Again, I feel like I've seen people talk about these online, so I've seen them before, but I just haven't shown them. Well, these are adorable. They're little brioche buns, rolls. It says soft and fluffy bites. These look really good. So they have these little hand pies. They have pumpkin, apple, and they also have the mixed berry back here. But that's very convenient because you can just grab these and go versus like cutting a slice of pie. Look what they have here. They have Hocus Pocus 2 cereal. That's cute. It says these are new. They're soft baked cookies, chocolate mint chip. So apparently my Walmart has Whataburger pork sausage now. This is the first time I've seen this here. Okay, so I finished up at Walmart. I got my pickup order loaded in the back and then I went to this local grocery store and I was gonna film in there if I saw anything new or super interesting that they didn't have at Walmart, but I didn't really see anything this time, which was weird because normally I do. I found one thing that I haven't been able to find at Walmart and I, I went ahead and picked it up, so I'll show you in the haul. But what I was gonna say is I feel like I should start doing this on Sundays every week. If I can just like line up when we need to get groceries with Sunday every week, then I can go alone and I can go early in the morning so it's easier to film in the store. I think I'm gonna kind of try to aim for doing that. But yeah, we're gonna go home. I have a pretty good size haul for you guys. So yeah, let's just go ahead and knock this out. So I just got back home. This is everything that we got for the week. I'm gonna start over here on this side. So I did get a whole bunch of like frozen stuff for lunches and snacks and things like that before anybody says that this is full of junk. I had to stock up on things like that. Okay, I have kids. But this right here is new, I assume. I'm not really sure, but it's Motor City Pizza and it's the four cheese one so it's like a deep dish it says Detroit, Detroit, <laughs> Detroit style pizza so I got that for mainly for me and Josh to try we bought these pilgrims we bought the pilgrims brand of 
popcorn chicken. They have like a buttery one and it's really good. Josh really liked it. So I figured I would get the boys chicken nuggets in this brand and let them try it. And then Josh really likes spicy chicken nuggets. So I saw these hot and spicy ones. I grabbed these whenever I was inside of Walmart. And then for the snacks, I got some go-go squeezes. Bryce and Miles especially have been loving little like applesauce pouches and stuff. And they had the Halloween themed one. So I just went ahead and got those. It has apple, apple strawberry, and apple banana. And then I got these for Liam to take to school. It just has mini Oreos, Chips Ahoy, and Nutter Butters. I got Josh's breakfast bowls stacked up back there. I got some Pop-Tarts just because sometimes Liam wants something like that quick in the morning and I haven't bought Pop-Tarts in a while. So I just went ahead and got those. I got those instead of the fruit bars this time. We needed some more Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I got a couple of these little rice bowls. I'm on a kick with eating these for lunch lately. I'm sure I'm going to burn myself out on them, but I really like the chicken fried rice and the General Tso's spicy chicken one. And then I picked up some mini pancakes for the boys. Another thing that I could give Liam real quick in the morning before school. Got my croissants for my breakfast sandwiches. And every time I get these out to make a breakfast sandwich, Bryce wants to just eat one, just eat one plain, but he doesn't always finish it. So I bought these. My little sister Allison actually does this. She buys the little ones as well to let her kids snack on. And Miles likes these too. So I figured that would be a good idea. This right here is the brand of taquitos that I used to always buy. I just bought this brand and they were just the flour tortillas and they were just the chicken ones and I got them from Walmart and I don't it's like they don't sell them anymore and I don't like any of the other brands so I saw this at the local grocery store that I went to to get the ground beef and I don't know it's extra crunchy southwest chicken it says it has like black beans and peppers and stuff in it so I'm just gonna try it out and see if I like it I kind of was hungry when I was doing this so this happened I got some jalapeno poppers and these I already know I like these I like jalapeno poppers but I've never bought these at the store so we'll see we got all our ground beef I got three things of it because of the three dinners we're gonna make with it this week I'm gonna go back over here so we are we're gonna kind of be snacking today it's Sunday Josh is wa watching football all day so we usually like make finger foods and stuff so one thing we're gonna do is have buffalo chicken dip so we got chicken for that because we didn't thaw out chicken in advance so chicken I have been really liking baby bell cheeses I bought a bag of these last week so I just bought another one we got bacon because he's going to do bacon wrapped little smokies we do like bacon little smokies and brown sugar and it's really really good we also got these new orleans they're like better with cheddar but they're i don't know new orleans smoked sausage they're kind of spicy i think and josh likes to have these whenever he grills this was a random purchase too i was hungry i don't know i got this bob evans six cheese macaroni and cheese i think i've had it before and it's pretty good so grabbed that we got some hot dog buns for this and then I got these for the boys. Liam loves M&M cookies and I normally make them, but I decided to buy these and let him try these out and see if he likes them. So the other meals or the meals that we're going to make this week are meals that you guys have heard me talk about plenty of times. So one meal is tacos. So we got shredded lettuce for that. Got our taco seasoning. You guys, if you haven't tried the Kinder's taco seasoning, I highly recommend it. It's really good. We got our two different types of tortilla shells. We already have shredded cheese. We got some sour cream. I think that's everything for the tacos. I'm gonna make a lasagna this week as well. If you guys are wondering why I'm speed talking, it's because all the kids are in their rooms being quiet right now and I'm trying to finish this before they come out here and get loud. But I got the, this is the sauce that we use for it. Ricotta cheese, we already have the mozzarella cheese the pasta when i went into our local grocery store i got this country boy sausage patties because josh loves these and he can't find them anywhere else like i think walmart used to sell them but they don't sell them anymore i got the boys some fruit loops because they'll just we can put these in a bowl and they just snack on them dry as you can see bryce saw them and he wanted some so he's already snacking on some and then the other meal that we're going to make is the philly cheesesteak sloppy joes so that calls for beef broth brioche buns we needed a green bell pepper some provolone cheese and then of course i got the ground beef for it we got a couple lemons because we put on a pot of sweet tea and josh yeah. likes lemon in his tea i got this for it never focuses on this but to squirt in the boys water got them some welch's fruit punch some mott's what is this apple white grape juice i also saw this and look how cute look how cute it's frankenstein they had a ghost scrub daddy too but it wasn't like as obvious i don't know it just kind of looked like a white sponge and then it was like i don't know i don't know so i got the frankenstein i got a couple of these red baron deep dish pizzas josh takes these to work sometimes but also the boys like these as well then i got some extra sweet extra sweet 
little corn on the cobs because I love when Josh grills these. So I like to keep these in the freezer that way if he's gonna grill, cause, cause he grills quite often, I can convince him to make these for me too, cause they're my favorite. And then we have a loaf of bread. Let's see, that was so fast. I feel like I say that in every single video. But, and I forgot to get a case of water. We needed a case of water. We're not completely out, but we did need to get some more and I forgot. That is everything that we got for this week. We have, so that was only three meals, but the lasagna we will have for two nights in a row. And we also have some things on hand for like a quick dinner as well. So that's why I only have technically four nights of dinners in this hall. Miles is now in here throwing around an empty Minute Maid jug. But anyways, that's everything that we got for this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's grocery haul. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing before you leave and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.